It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and an innovative treatment is showing promise in low-risk tumor patients, and it's giving thousands of women an alternative to surgery along with some hope. Newstone, New Jersey's Roxanne Evans explains. Dr. Kenneth Tomkovich of Centro State Medical Center is one of a handful of doctors bringing cutting edge treatment to women everywhere. This is called cryoablation for breast cancer. Cryoablation is less invasive and uses sub-zero temperatures, taking the place of surgery. A nick of the skin, a flash of cold, and all in less than an hour. For thousands of women, this may be a cure for breast cancer. It uses a probe that uses liquid nitrogen to super freeze the probe. Nothing's injected in the patients, and it creates an ice ball inside the patient that actually kills the tumor. Still, it's not appropriate for all, only for women with certain types of less aggressive early stage cancers. Yeah, Dr. You know, Tomkovich has performed the procedure 20 times in the last seven years, claiming a full success rate. Muriel Smith was 79 years old when she became one of the doctor's first patients after being diagnosed with a tumor. And they gave me the option. They told me that there's this new thing that Dr. Tomkovich was doing. Uh, which was cryo cryoablation, and then they also told me I could have surgery. And so the choice was real, real easy. Muriel also liked that no chemicals were used and she was awake during the procedure. The tumor froze its way out, <laughs> so then, then it was gone. And, and that's the end of the story. <laughs> and I could see it shrivel up and go away. I had nothing to lose except the tumor because um, if it didn't work, I could always have surgery. Cryoablation is IRB approved and waiting for full approval by the Food and Drug Administration. How much does this cost? Does insurance cover it? Uh, right now, uh, we're, we're charging uh, $5,000 for the procedure. For some, and, uh, an outcome well worth I the price. Probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Roxanne Evans, News 12, New Jersey. Dr. Tomkovich anticipates full FDA approval next year and insurance to cover the cost. Both he and Muriel say frequent regular checkups and yearly mammograms are critical in leading a healthy life. As Breast Cancer Awareness Month continues, we have a list of amazing resources for patients and family members of those battling the disease. Go to our News 12 app for more information.